Hi, this is Tamika with Pastries, Pumps, and Pie, and I'm here with a Planner Me video in my Big Happy Planner for the week of March the 29th through April the 4th. So I am going to be using my Planners and Anonymous Sakura kit um, because one, I haven't used these petal washies and I want to use them. I had picked out all of my floral sticker books and I was like I'm gonna use my floral sticker books and then I was like no I kind of literally have florals right here in this washi tape um, that I have not used so that's what I'm gonna be doing is using this um, for those of you that may have missed my unboxing I gotta find where this starts back up <laughs> Or I'm not gonna end up using this at all um, yeah that's gonna be an issue in order to get started on another one that might be what has to happen yeah so that one got ripped we'll just put that one aside and then we'll start from here all right so I know I'm gonna put one right here and I think you'll be able to still see it so I'm gonna wipe this out very very gentle with this because of the way they're layered so I'm gonna just try to pull it from the back side because I think that's gonna help there we go I think that's gonna work better pulling it from the back now I literally just had my tweezers there they are Sometimes they play hide and go seek from me. <laughs> All right. Now I do have stickers from the kit of these florals, these cherry blossoms, but I thought it would be fun to use the washi because I haven't used it. These are individual petals. Is what these are. All right, let's move forward. Let's get some functional stuff down and then we'll kind of work from there. So here's the stickers. I know I want to put a habit tracker over here. So I'm gonna put this one down. Okay. And let's see. Always want some minis. <laughs> um, I'm going to want a quote, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and put the day covers down and some more functional stuff and then I'll figure out some other things from there. I'm going to situate these so that I do not have to um white out the dates so that means that the date covers kind of fall into my box my top box is some but i'm okay with that i just don't want to have to white anything out <laughs> so i'd rather it fall into the box instead i mean there's been times where i, I uh white it out the date and then I go back and like try to cover it with cover the white out like washi tape or something but since this is already going to be a washi tape laden <laughs> spread I don't want to do too much more additional washi and that's something else that I've been trying to determine do I want to use um, which of my additional washi tapes do I want to use? So I do have this one, which I think will bring in some of that darker plum color. But I don't know if this is going to be too busy with the floral clusters that I propose that I'm going to put on the page. 
and then I also have this one that came with the kit um, so I might just do this one because it has that pinkish color with some gold specks on it so I might just do this because I think the other one might end up busy so I'm definitely not going to put any additional washi until the very end so what I'm going to do actually I'm going to pull up this weekend sticker that I just put down I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to make a cluster with this washi tape florals over there all right so again we're going to pull the stickers from the back and you have to be very careful oh god I feel like I'm ripping something okay I think there's a total of three here actually yeah um There we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this one here. I want a little one. Oh, that's still kind of big. Let's put this one because I want the weekend banner to be on top of this. All right. stay down like that all right I'll keep that on my hand until I'm ready to pull that up I want to put in here a double box sticker and this double box sticker is actually cut into like six pieces Okay, trying to kind of guide myself here. Um, on where to place this. All right, and then I will add the next piece, which is just going to go flush up against this piece. Let me turn it this way so I can have better control here of what I'm doing. I think that works. Hopefully it's straight because if not, too bad. I'm not pulling it up. All right. So there are actually a couple more pieces. It is a little crooked, but it's going to remain that way because I am definitely not pulling that up. Now, this was the tricky part the last time I tried to do one of these was getting this piece down right. And then there is an additional stri two strips that go along the side. This little bitty piece here. And then another little strip. Let me turn it again. And this one has that cat on it. I'm not fond of the cat, but I do love everything else about the kit. I'm just not a cat lover and don't like the cat in white for some reason. Um, 
There's another sticker book from them I have, and the cat is gray. And I don't mind the gray cat. I don't know why it's something about that white cat. I don't know. But okay, maybe I should start it from up here. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start it from up here instead. And then I think we will have a better chance of getting it down right. Oh, goodness. Nope, that doesn't want to work. So let's try it upside down like this. Oh, it keeps shifting. Okay, that worked. All right, there's that. Great, got that down. All right, I need some functional, some more functional boxes. So I'm going to use this for Bible study. And what I want to do is grab one of these color splashes here. So I'm going to grab this color splash. So I kind of want to layer it. Let's put the color splash down first. Put the box down. And then I know I wanted to put some more, another floral sticker right in there. So, let's go back over here. I can see that I'm almost ripping one. Where's my tweezers? Or you could use the tweezers to peel these. I think that's going to help a lot. There we go. That helps a whole, whole lot. It's ripped, but I'm hoping once it goes down on the paper, you won't oh, be able to tell. Yeah, I'm ripping that one quite a bit. <laughs> that one I might need to dispose of. Um, let's see. No, that ripped way too much. Let's try another one. Let's see. They're very fragile. That's the thing. You have to be very careful pulling them apart. why the tweezers are helping. All right, so we managed to get this one. And I'm gonna put this right in here. Let's see. Okay, that looks good. And then I wanted to do another individual one. this underneath over here. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back with some tape because my stickers aren't wanting to stick to the washi tape, so I might have to use some adhesive, but I'll go back and do that if necessary. All right. What else? More functional for sure. Um, I don't really have anything planned. Um, we have 
Sunday is Resurrection Sunday, so I'm gonna put a box for that. Otherwise, I don't have anything planned this week whatsoever. Um, I don't have any doctor's appointments or anything like that, so I'm gonna take this one and put it over there because that one kind of ripped it. I want to. One of these down. Put this down on Monday. All right. Take one of these yay banners. I like putting these down on Fridays for Fry Yay. Okay. I also need to see I have a whole sheet of those but I wanted to use the um that washing I'm trying to find the quote page mm -hmm. how do I feel like this video is gonna be very very long <laughs> I have to do some serious editing. Okay. I'm gonna put this celebrate your beauty. And I'm gonna put this girl down over here. And I've learned that when they're standing like this. If you want them to go down straight, you have to start from their, from the top of their head, because otherwise, it's not going to go down straight. There we go. Celebrate your beauty. Um, I've been hoarding these cranes, but I'm gonna be kind and use one. <laughs> I'm gonna use one kind of flying over her like that. I've been hoarding those for real. Okay, then I want to do some bullets. I like these little page flags. I'm gonna use some of these. Um, All right, and then I will probably put more bullets over on this other side. Um, let's put these on Friday. I'm gonna put some of the circles. Okay. Sunday, I think I want a checklist. Um, so what I'm going to do, because I want a checklist down here, I'm going to cut this to make like two, like a fuller, longer checklist. That's what I'm gonna do. So I cut that pretty close. <laughs> okay, um, let's put this down. My brother's calling me. Do what he wants. Okay, didn't go down as seamlessly as I would want, but it's down there. Um, let's see. We have some headers here. I'm gonna put little things as the header here. 
Okay. Now I need something else on Wednesday, which I'm thinking I might put one of these. that right there and put that across the top of that beautiful not broken I need some more of the florals over here I think I'll put some down in this area and then I need something on Thursday Let's see what we could put on Thursday. I'll try to have something for each day in case I need it. That's what I tried to do. I'm going to take a couple of these and make another longer checklist is what I'm going to do. Layer this like we layered the other one. All right. All right, now let's see if we can't get some more of these florals down. It's easier to peel the single petals than it is to peel off the um, larger ones, that's for sure. Um, So there's one. I want to put a really nice cluster this time. I'm ripping one of these. Um, I want to put a nice little cluster of these here. Let's see if I can't get another one free here. There's that nice little cluster. Um, and then I'm going to put this bloom and grow across here. there needs to be more here. Let me try a single petal right there. All right, I want to put some more of these words. This one says blossom. All right, I think that should do it. I'm trying to think, do I want more? 
No. So now I'm going to put some washi tape because I think that will just kind of finish this all off. And again, I don't know if I want to put this one because I'm thinking, yep, it's too busy. Even though it brings in some gold foil, which is pretty, it's too busy. And I think I'm just going to put this one. So we'll put some of this washi down. y'all could see the washi tape that I've kind of collected over here. Little scraps. All right, and since this is not sticking, let me grab some adhesive. And I'm gonna put some of this. I can't tell if that even stuck down there. And hopefully that will stay. All right. I think I'm done. I have somewhere to write every day. I, like I said, I don't have a lot going on. Oh, I'm not done. Um, I need to do no school and I need a towel Tuesday. So let me get those scripts. So my coffee planner mom stickers. Now I think I had on one of my freebies a no school in a color that would work. I thought I had one in like a pastel color. Ah, that's in purple. Mm, not quite, it's too, too dark. So let me put this Towel Tuesday script. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need a no school sticker. And I thought I had one. Snow day, no. Oh man, I could have sworn I had one. Another Tile Tuesday one, so let me put those together. Oh, and another one. Yeah, I thought I had a no school in like a pinkish color. Hmm. That purple is not gonna do 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 it for me. It's too it's too dark. Mm. Okay. And I don't believe any of the kits have a no school script. I don't think they do so yeah they do not oh I do have trash night so I can put that down and trash night is Sunday um, 
I don't have, oh, I do have day off stickers. Um, I bet you I put that sticker book away too. There is a sticker book that has day off stickers. I've seen it. Maybe it's this one. I can't remember. There's some. Yep. No school. Day off. Yeah, no school. There we go. I knew there was something. So we're going to put that right there. So that's a good Friday. So there's no school there. And then I'm just going to write in here Resurrection Sunday. I don't celebrate Easter per se after learning the origin of that and how pagan that is. So I just refer to it now as Resurrection Sunday. Um, and I just need to write that in. But otherwise, I think I am good to go. This is hard to work with. These are so delicate. But now I know that. So I need to really keep that in mind when I pull these. Hopefully I can salvage the ones that kind of ripped. Hopefully I can place those in another spread and they will, you know, still look okay. Um, but yeah, that... Why do I feel like this needs something over top of it? Don't you hate when you say you're done with your spread and you're not? <laughs> it says take your time. I'm going to put that on to over here. There we go. So this is telling me to, you know, relax. There we go. I love it. I said I could have used the stickers, but I had that beautiful washi, so I wanted to use the washi instead, and I think it came out really, really nice. Even the addition of the other thinner washi here made a big difference. I love the little bullet points. She made them the perfect size. I love this. I mean, like, how can you not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me what you think in the comments below, guys. Have you used any washi tape like um, these before? Did you find them to be a little challenging? I don't think they're really challenging. I think they're just very fragile, and I have to just keep that in mind. Um, but I love them. I love the idea of just having that. And then you can pull it up easily and re reapply it as needed. So I think they looked awesome. And you guys know what else to do. Be sure to slay, subscribe, like, and accept the alerts when you miss any videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.